Hey, this is Anthony Howe with TechCrunch. I am here at the Adapt TV offices in San Mateo. It's about a week after they were uh, acquired by AOL for $405 million, which is the largest acquisition of the uh, Tim Armstrong era. And we're going to talk to both of the co-founders about their technology and uh, their future. I'm here with Amir Ashkenazi, the co-founder and CEO of Adapt TV. Uh, thanks for joining us. Hey, Anthony. Thank or you so much. Thanks for having us, rather, I guess, in this office. Thank you. Uh, so it's been about a week since uh, you guys were announced as, as you know going to be acquired by by AOL. How has yeah. how that last week been? How does it feel? Exciting, extremely exciting. I mean, we could not have uh, expected such an amazing coverage and positive response to this uh, acquisition. And I think that um, seeing you know Tim Armstrong and Bob Lorne and Ron Oneville talking about the importance of the importance of programmatic in video and taking our vision to a totally different scale is exactly what we wanted to achieve with this acquisition. Right. So I think you know when when I was look, sort of looking at the response, I mean a lot of people I think were just really happy for you, really excited about sort of what this means for the video advertising space. But there are also some people I mean, especially given the amount of money involved. Um, congratulations on that, by the way. Uh, we're just like. Adapt TV, what is that? So, I mean, if you don't mind just giving us sort of, you know, what's the, what's the quick sure. explanation? Sure. Adapt TV is a platform and marketplace for video advertising. We power some of the largest agencies, publishers, and ad network, giving them the technology that they need to run their business and also the way to connect with one another. So they're doing it through our private and public marketplaces. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the ways that, that Tim described it in, in, the, uh, in, in the announcement was sort of that the goal is to sort of make sort of the, the video ad buying process as, uh, as simple as, as e-commerce. Is that something that, that, that's how you guys approach you it? You know, I come from e-commerce. Before Adaptive, I started shopping.com, and one of my first observations coming into advertising is that it can be more efficient and more effective. Mm -hmm. And our vision for doing that was to create a unified platform that connects buyers and sellers directly. Honestly, that was an extremely ambitious goal. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think now, a week after the announcement, we can uh, talk more openly about <laughs> uh, some of the uh, secret ingredients that okay. made this happen. And the main one is our engineering team. Okay. Because you take every engineering team of that size, and they'll tell you it's impossible. Mm -hmm. It really, you should decide whether you want to be a DSP or Exchange or SSP, but that model is broken. You okay. cannot have five people between a buyer and seller and have right. an effective and efficient uh, video advertising ecosystem. So we gave them this task, and they didn't know it's impossible, so they just did it. Mm -hmm. And there is no parallel to the scope, the sophistication of what they developed, and it's everything from the um, uh, complexity of the targeting and optimization to our uh, fraud detection uh, systems all the way to the intuitive interface that buyers and sellers use. Get a full package in one elegant platform. Mm -hmm. And is that something where you feel like this is something, you know, that, that it's sort of the, what you released initially was kind of pretty far from that and, and you kind of had to get closer to that? Do you feel like that you kind of came out the, came out of the gate with like this kind yeah, of Yeah, we package? put this plan on February of 2008. We actually had the four phases of how we are going to create the uh, platform and marketplace for video advertising. And our way into this was starting with the publishers, developing yield optimization ad server for publishers, then opening a marketplace, and then on top of this, adding buying tools and the DSP functionality. So about uh, two years ago, we've completed the full stack and continued to develop um, you know, more functionality and sophistication mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. it. So what's, what's next on the product side? I can see 10 years of development. And we are hiring engineers as fast as we can. Honestly, we're not lowering the bar. We're keeping the bar very high. Honestly, we're getting um, many, many CVs and honestly hiring one in 50. OK, uh, wow. Okay. Um, it's not something you hear from too many of the uh, companies around here. You know, amazing engineers are hard to find, but uh, worth their weight in gold. And mm -hmm. what they can do for a product is just amazing. And we solve some really critical uh, and difficult problems here. Uh, we're talking about a massive amount of data and we're talking about intelligent decisions that you need to make in a fraction of a second. So you know you guys for the last few years have been sort of working on these kind of big problems in the kind of video advertising uh, space at the same time it seems like there's sort of been you know just the, 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 the wider sort of picture has also been changing a lot with lots of new companies lots of new technologies what do you think has sort of been kind of the most interesting change during that period the, the most interesting change is the adoption of tools for the buying and selling of advertising 
Uh, you know, when we started six years ago, people told us, why do you even bother developing this? This is a relationship industry. It's always going to be manual. Uh, and, you know, it didn't make sense to me. And I'm very encouraged to see that um, agencies and trading desks and ad networks and even advertisers directly are adopting now tools for uh, buying and selling of advertising. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you also talk about this idea of, you know, that there's sort of all these sort of middlemen and you're trying to sort of create this platform that kind of, take, like, you know, reduces some of that complexity. Um, at the same time, it seems like programmatic, programmatic buying in general, I mean, is, is, you know, increasing some of the complexity involved in, in the sort of, you know, process. I mean, t do you see that as, how do you sort of see that coming, you know, shaking out eventually? Do you think, like, like adver video advertising 10 years from now is going to be sort of dramatically more complex or less complex? So the technology is really complex, but operating it, being a buyer and a sell or mm -hmm. a seller, is really easy. In fact, I can train you to be a media buyer in 15 minutes. Oh, yeah? So if this TechCrunch TV doesn't work for you, <laughs> we're going to make you a video media buyer. And you're going to do great uh, because it's honestly not more complex than buying on Amazon. How does it actually work? To learn more about the product and the technology, we spoke to Amir's co-founder and chief product officer. I think everyone is familiar with the fact that um, viewing behavior, video viewing behavior is undergoing a dramatic shift. Uh, from uh, you know television, traditional broadcast or what we call linear television, um, to uh, digital delivery of video, the audience becomes highly, highly fragmented across many, many different channels. And so, you know, first when it went from broadcast television to cable television, it went from three channels to 50 or 100. Um, now, as it goes from cable television to um, internet delivered video, we get to you know thousands or millions of different potential programs delivered on thousands of different sites and so on. So. When you think about it from a brand advertiser's perspective, they have a need to uh, plan and deliver and measure a campaign to a particular audience with particular performance goals you know, across that fragmented landscape. And this creates um, not just sort of uh, a problem of the, the technology stack that's required, but actually a problem of data, right? of knowing where that audience is and making that data actionable so that you can actually use that data to go deliver those ads to the right places um, and measure it all and make sure that it's working. When you go and you look at the brands who want to buy advertising, um, we as a company are actually pretty agnostic. So we provide a generic uh, platform that allows you to plan and buy and measure a campaign in this new frag fragmented world of digitally delivered video. Um, and the largest customers of ours today are the ad agencies. And the reason is that they're the ones who are making those planning and buying decisions on behalf of the large brands. And what I think is really one of the most interesting developments, uh, brands have started using our platform to buy direct. Fragmentation is enabled by technology and provided that consumers have um, the tools they need to do adequate discovery and sharing of video, which I think today um, are, uh, are, are relatively lacking. Um, I think fragment, the fragmented media landscape can continue to exist.